By now, it's clear to everyone that businesses of any size need to learn to use AI in 2024. Not just a nice to have, but a necessity, especially for small business owners. But how can people just starting out learning AI to grow their business more effectively? Don't worry, you don't need to learn how to build an AI robot or become a tech nerd. You just need to find what I call the 80-20 of AI, which is all those tools that are easy to learn, accessible to everyone, and easy to implement into daily operations. Also, most importantly, yield a high ROI on your time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how AI beginners, freelancers, entrepreneurs, and small business owners can learn AI for their businesses without having to become super tech savvy or nerdy. And if you're new here, my name is Darius Lucas, and on this channel, we talk about creating an online business that gives you freedom, leverages AI tools, and is connected to your ikigai, the reason for being. Okay, I'm going to break down this video into four main sections, which are the four steps you need to go through in order to learn AI effectively. So let's begin with step number one. Why are you learning AI? This may sound like a simple question, but it actually goes much deeper than that. To be clear, learning how to use AI is always a good choice. It's going to be a lifelong skill because artificial intelligence is here to stay. In the future, of course, it may look very different, but it's only going to evolve as time goes on. But when it comes to your specific case, what area of your business do you want to automate with AI? Is it to make more content or to write your copy faster or to save time while editing videos? Identifying the goal of your AI journey is crucial because if you can't answer this, all the other steps in this guide won't help you to get results. So now that you know what you want to achieve with AI, let's move on to step number two, which is understanding how AI really works. So to learn AI effectively, you need to start from the basics of how artificial intelligence works. And this means that we need to get clear on what machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence really mean. Because even though everyone has been using AI as a buzzword that covers everything under one umbrella, there are three terms that you should understand. So let's start with the first one, machine learning, which are systems that take decisions and perform tasks just based on data, so without being explicitly programmed for each task. They use algorithms to analyze data, recognize patterns, and make predictions based on that information. It's like teaching a computer to recognize spam emails by showing it examples of spam and non-spam emails, rather than writing a specific set of rules for identifying spam. So it's basically leaving it to do all the work. This means that the more information we feed the system, the better and more accurate the outcome will become, without us having to write any code for it. Then we have deep learning which is a type of machine learning. In this case, we have layers of neural networks that model how our human mind works. Deep learning has access to very large amounts of information, so it can adapt and learn very well and perform complex tasks at a high level. And then we have LLMs, which are large language models. LLMs such as OpenAI's GPT, Claude, Google's Gemini, Perplexity, and Microsoft's Copilot are all models that use deep learning to act and reason like a human. They use large amounts of data to perform high-level tasks and imitate human behavior. Now, moving on to step number three, which is finding the right AI tool for you. As I said at the beginning, you don't need to become a tech expert to leverage AI in your business effectively and start saving time. I've seen many videos that show you how to work with APIs and codes to build your own tools. But if you're building and scaling your business, this probably will be too time consuming for you. You're here to save time, not to spend more time, right? So instead, it makes more sense to use the AI tools that are already available out there. And the beauty of all those AI tools that are out there today is that they are pretty easy to use and pretty easy to get into. 
The interface is usually very intuitive and you don't have to spend days trying to learn how to navigate them and how to make them work in your business. If you want to save time while working with Google tools, integrate Google's Gemini and it will allow you to do your task in half the time without even exiting your Google interface. If you want to write, record or edit your podcast with one tool, you can use Descript and it will give you everything you need for your videos. With a tool like Albus, you can save time on Slack and get all the answers you need in just seconds. And then we have, say, Midjourney that can give you incredible images that look realistic with just one prompt. And of course, we have chatbots like ChatGPT that allow you to write text, analyze data, create tables, and do virtually anything with text. As you can see, to learn AI today, you don't need to get super techy or to get some super fancy and difficult software. So now I'll show you a no-code three-step process that will help you find the right AI tool for your specific needs and for your specific tasks. Number one, identify your most time-consuming task. Take a close look at your current work schedule and look for the tasks that you frequently have to handle. Those are the activities that are hindering your growth and our goal is to help you save time the next time you have to do them. Chances are that you'll find one or two tasks that can be easily streamlined with an AI tool that is out there waiting for you to discover it. So that's why the next step is to number two, look for the right AI tool for that activity. What I like to do here is to go to perplexity.ai and type in this prompt. What AI tools can I use to save time while doing X task? Perplexity will give you a summary of the best tools that you can use for that particular task with links to sources for you to check out. Number three, implement this tool in your business. Review the tools that Perplexity suggests and test them the next time you handle your daily task and choose the tool that you prefer. You'll probably have to try a couple of them, but pretty soon you'll find the one that helps you save hours every week without spending hundreds of dollars and sometimes even for free. So let's look at a quick example. Let's say I have a marketing agency and I keep all my communications in my email. So I go on Perplexity and ask it, what AI tools can I use to save time while organizing my emails? And Perplexity gives me this. In this case, I've never heard of any of these tools. So let's do some research. For instance, let's take the first one, SaneBox. I can go to the SaneBox website and see what they offer and how much it costs. I see they have a free trial. Good start. Let's go on to the menu on the left here and there is a tour option. All right, so from the features it offers, I think I can give it a try. So I'll go ahead and create a free account and see how it works. And if I don't like it, I'll try another one. As you can see, if you want to learn AI to build and scale your business, you need to focus on very practical things and very practical tasks. It's a matter of looking for the right tools for you and testing them in your workflow. But that's not it. There's one last step you need to follow to learn AI effectively. And here at step number four, finding your community. It's quite hard to keep up with the AI revolution. New tools are released every week and things change very fast. That's why staying updated is also a big part of learning AI. And the best way to do this is being part of a community where AI experts guide you through the noise and show you the best tools and strategies so that you never get left behind. I've seen many courses and communities out there, but if you're looking for community designed for small business owners and AI beginners, you should definitely check out the Ikigai Growth Tribe down below. This is the community where my team of AI experts and I give you practical and actionable AI strategies so that you can streamline your operations and scale your business much faster. Check out the link below. And there you have it. It was my four step guide to help you learn AI. When it comes to learning AI for your business, mastering ChatGPT is the lowest hanging fruit. And so if you're interested in that, check out one of my latest videos that I did on advanced ChatGPT strategies that will definitely take your business to the next level and help you look at ChatGPT in the way that you haven't before. See you in the next video.